Social Star Academy presents Natalie Meets a New Friend by Jennifer Cullen. This book is dedicated to my friend, Natasha Wood, who taught me about patience, perseverance, and strength. These qualities are found in those who keep on going, keep trying, day after day, despite major obstacles. They conquer their fears and weaknesses to accomplish their goals. Natalie Meets a New Friend Natalie and her twin sister Melanie were born early. They were very small. Since Natalie and Melanie were so small, they had to stay in a special hospital for babies called the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or NICU, for a very long time. At the hospital, the doctor noticed that Natalie had some problems. Due to complications at birth, she developed hydrocephalus and cerebral palsy. This meant that it would be hard for her to learn to walk, and her right hand could not open and shut properly, so it would sometimes stay balled up in a tight fist. After many months in the hospital, Natalie and Melanie were able to go home with their mom and dad. The girls grew up doing the same things other kids did, such as watching cartoons, playing with toys, and going to school. Natalie eventually learned to walk. She had to wear braces on her legs to help her muscles work properly. Natalie loved to dance, but it was hard for her to keep her balance, so sometimes she would fall. Natalie liked playing outside with her sister Melanie and the other neighborhood kids, but when their games involved running, she couldn't keep up with them. Whenever Natalie couldn't keep up with the other kids, she would just go inside the house and play alone. One day, Natalie and Melanie's mom took the girls to the park. As soon as Natalie, Melanie, and their mom got to the playground, some girls from school invited Melanie to play with them. Natalie wandered over to the sandbox where two boys were playing. Hi, I'm Natalie. Can I dig in the sand with you? Natalie asked. The boys ignored Natalie and just kept digging in the sand as if she hadn't spoken a word to them. She felt sad that the boys ignored her, so she left the sandbox and walked over to the swings. Hi, I'm Natalie. Can I swing with you? Natalie asked. What are those things on your legs? The girl questioned. These are my braces. They help me walk, Natalie said. Well, you can't swing with braces on your legs, a boy commented. The boy and girl giggled. (laughs) Natalie felt sad, so she left the swings and walked over to the slide. Hi, I'm Natalie. Can I slide with you? Natalie asked. The children playing on the slide stared at Natalie's legs for a moment. You can't climb because you have those things on your legs, the boy at the top of the slide said. Before Natalie could explain, the kids ran away to play somewhere else. Hi, I'm Natalie. Can I play on the jungle gym with you? Natalie asked. Uh, what's wrong with your hand? A girl asked. The muscles get stiff, Natalie said. You can't climb with us if your hand doesn't work. A boy replied. Natalie felt sad that no one would play with her, so she decided to sit under an oak tree and play alone. As she headed toward the tree, a girl approached Natalie and said, Hi, I'm Mumi. Do you want to play hide and seek with me? Sure, Natalie exclaimed. Yumi closed her eyes and counted to 60. Natalie hid behind a tree. Ready or not, here I come, Yumi hollered after she finished counting. Yumi searched the nearby area for Natalie. When she saw Natalie hiding behind a tree, she called out, Found you! Now you hide and I'll count, Natalie said with a smile. The girls walked over to the playground. Natalie closed her eyes and counted to 60. Yumi hid under a slide. Ready or not, here I come, Natalie hollered after she finished counting. Natalie searched the playground until she found Yumi hiding under a slide. Found you, Natalie exclaimed. Yumi giggled and then said, (laughs) I'm hungry, let's go get a snack. Yumi, Natalie, and Natalie's mom walked to the park's grassy area where Yumi's mom had a picnic set up. When they got to the picnic blanket where Yumi's mom and brother were sitting, Yumi said, hi mom, this is my new friend, Natalie. And this is my mom, Mary, Natalie said, introducing her mom to Yumi's mom. Hi, Natalie and Mary, it's so nice to meet you. My name is Min, and this is Yumi's little brother, Kwan. Min waved Yumi, Natalie, and Mary towards the blanket and said, Come join us for snack time. 
Yumi, Natalie, and Mary took a seat on the blanket next to Min and Kwan. Everybody enjoyed oranges, strawberries, apples, and other healthy snacks. After Yumi finished eating her snack, she asked, Hey mom, can I have a play date with Natalie sometime soon? That sounds like a great idea, Min said. The girls squealed with excitement. Yeah! Mary and Min pulled out their cell phones and set up a play date at the park for the following week. Yumi and Natalie ran off towards the playground to play another round of hide and seek. Tips for parents. You can't always tell when a child has special needs. As a result, you should always respond kindly, not judgmentally, when you see a child acting out of sorts in public. Don't assume that a special needs child is incapable of certain things based on what you've heard about a certain physical or mental health condition. Children with special needs have a wide range of capabilities, just like anyone else. If a parent and their special needs child are struggling in some way, ask, how can I help? Or, what do you need? If your child has a special needs child in their school class, invite him or her over for a play date or to your child's birthday party. Special needs kids are often left out of social activities by their peers. When you encounter a special needs child, don't ignore them. Instead, say hi and introduce yourself.